I do want to hit this, and we'll take your calls coming up, 844-204-RICH. The Browns did not lose yesterday because Freddie Kitchens wore a Pittsburgh started it T-shirt that was given to him by his daughter. Okay, Pittsburgh started it. That was in reference to the fact that Mason Rudolph was trying to pull Miles Garrett's helmet off of his head. That's what caused Garrett to pull Rudolph's helmet off of his head and then, you know, use it against him like a weapon. But that wouldn't have happened if Mason Rudolph didn't try to yank at Garrett's helmet. And that theory is backed up by the fact that uh, the, the, the league fined Mason Rudolph, too. But you're the head coach of a team. And it doesn't matter if your daughter gave it to you. If your daughter gives it to you, you laugh about it. And if your daughter wants you to wear it, you just say, you know what? Now's not the time, sweetheart. And you go out to a movie and you're going to take a selfie with somebody which is great, you got to zip up your jacket. It really is that simple because you are the CEO. You're the face front of something. Now, again, he's never been the face front of something. This is his first rodeo on that front. And I don't know how well-versed he is in Twitter and all that stuff. I imagine he's got to be because he's a coach in the league. The number of times I'm fortunate enough to be asked, hey, would you mind taking a picture or whatever, and I'm in a bar or something, I will always hide my drink behind my back. I don't need to have a photograph of me hey, with a drink. And, you know, I'm, it's my first sip of the night, but, uh, you know, right. the camera catches me in a way and I look hammered. Totally. You know what I mean? It's just you never know how anything's going to be captured. I will always hide the drink behind my back or put it out of, out of view. And if I am, you know, if I'm given a T-shirt that might be somewhat provocative, I'm just not wearing it out of the house. It's just that simple. Uh, I mean, how how do you do that? And, of course, it just gets worse and worse and worse because – you know, it's it's part of something that you're supposed to represent turning the page, moving on, not making it worse, not stirring it up, removing the oxygen from a situation instead of inflaming it. Certainly when your player is gone for the rest of the year because he crowns somebody with his own helmet. Okay? And also, also, it comes out. Do you know what movie you went to see? Oh, no. The Mr. Rogers movie. Do you know where Mr. Rogers is from? Pittsburgh. Do you know where he is viewed as a an icon? Yeah. Pittsburgh. 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 Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, you can't make it up. And then you lose the game. So when you lose a game in the NFL and you continue and you're not performing up to snuff, you will wear it as the head coach that you are not preparing your team or you're not – having control and you're not disciplined. They didn't lose because he wore the T-shirt. That's absurd. But if you're the owner of the team, you have to wonder, well, if he's that unaware of what this might look like, what else is he unaware of? And you think the same way as a fan. For more of the Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download the Rich Eisen Show app.